but then you can kind of blend it out and that doesn't look right. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have some really good favorites this week. I, I don't know about like an overall theme, maybe kind of like bronzy and warm tone shades, but really I just have like some standout favorites that I was loving this week. So just kind of kept using those products. So let's get into the favorites. For eyes this week, I have not been able to put this palette down. I'm going to have a whole review video for y'all up on my channel. I'll have swatches and just more thoughts on it, but this is the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. It's what I have on my eyes right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Now mine's looking a little messy. Like it kind of gets a little bit messy because these are baked shadows, but so like, don't mind all the little like messiness because the shadows inside are absolutely gorgeous. So today I'm wearing this one, which is Burst have a little bit of this one, which is um, Pulsar. I'm losing my voice. And another standout favorite this week was Ozone. Oh my goodness. If you love like just metallic-y shades, especially like, I don't know, rose gold, bronzy, just amazing metallic-y shades, I think you would love this palette, especially for summer. Oh my goodness. I'm not like sharing everything that I've noticed about this palette and like all my thoughts because I'll have that in that review video, but just know it was a favorite this week. I couldn't put it down. It's absolutely gorgeous and yeah, standout favorite for this week. I would say this is overall my standout favorite. It has some other really good things too, but this was the thing that I was like most jumping up and down for. So pretty. With that palette this week, I broke out an oldie but a goodie, my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I think I just mentioned this recently, but this is always a favorite for me. It's just a beautiful bronzy cream shadow. It's gorgeous by itself, but I feel like it really does work well with those baked shadows because it really gives them something to adhere to and just intensifies them. So I wore this quite a few times this week with that palette. Don't mind the like leftover stains. I couldn't get off my hand. I was watching things and they're still there. So don't worry about those. But anyway, bad of the bronze, oldie but a goodie. I mean, it's like, there's no need to reinvent that wheel cause it's just good. The wheel is good. So don't reinvent it. It just works. So, so pretty, so affordable. On my cheeks this week, I can't remember if I've had this in my favorites recently or not, but I wore it this week and I loved it. So. It's in my favorites this week. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in Vintage Rouge. I still want the pinky one because they have two newer shades, this one and then a pinkier one. So I have this one, but I don't have the pinkier one, but I really like this one. I love the texture of it. So, and the pinky one looks pretty. So I'm still on the hunt for that one. I actually, I haven't done a lot of hunting. I say I'm on the hunt, but I really like, haven't gone out and like actively looked for it, but Anyway, Vintage Rouge is just a beautiful, um, corally nude shade. It's kind of like a satin finish, really just beautiful on the cheeks, has that kind of like summery vibe to it. Really cute packaging, bulky packaging, but it's cute. It does have that scent to it, like that kind of coconutty, but perfumey coconutty sort of a scent. So I don't like, I don't know, I could take or leave the scent. It's a little bit strong, but I do love the blush. It's so pretty and just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then Ofra has a new summer collection that is so pretty. There are three blushes, a highlighter, and then a lip trio. So the standout blush for me this week is this one. This is in Mai Tai. So I have this on my cheeks today. I've been wearing this nonstop. Like I wore the Physicians Formula one, I think once, maybe twice, but I enjoyed it. But this one I wore multiple times. And while it looks like crazy bright in the pan, I feel like it's still bright on the cheeks, but it's more wearable on the cheeks. It is so fun. There's like a um, pinky raspberry color in the collection. There's kind of a more neutral color in the collection. And then this one, which is like, I don't know, like a bright dreamsicle peach sort of a color. And I think, 
I think it's pretty much just matte. But look how fun that is. Isn't it beautiful? Like, I feel like it's a unique sort of a color. Like, you really just don't see those colors very often. So it looks really bright, but then you can kind of blend it out. And that doesn't look right. <laughs> but on my cheeks, you can see it blended out. Um, I don't know. It just has that, like, brightness to it, but also that, like, peachy, fun, summery sort of a look. So I love it. It blends beautifully it was really easy to work with pigmented but not hard to work with and it wears well throughout the day so day i don't know why i say it like that wears well throughout the day but i love it it's an awesome awesome blush and i've been digging the highlighter that's in the collection too this is bali i love ofra's highlighters i think they are just gorgeous they blend really well they're like really intense and metallic but this one is like really something different and unique like it's a gold, but it's like a duochrome peachy gold. It's really cool. Like it just is, I feel like it's something different. I mean, if you're like a highlighter collector, highlighter addict, then, you know, you may have something like this in your collection, but it's not your average gold highlighter. It's got that like peachiness to it, but that like duochrome peachiness to it. It is so beautiful. So I do have this on my cheeks today. And I think with the peach, it like just mixes with that peach and is just so fun and summery. So I love this whole collection. I love the like, I don't know, beachy, peachy vibe to it. It's really, really pretty. Okay, we'll switch gears off of the summer collection for a second. I do have one more favorite, but we'll switch to something else for a little bit. This is what I have on my lips right now. This is one of the Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks. This is in Nudist. I do feel like I talked about this recently, but this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks, I would say, at least recently. Like, I feel like it's one that I think about. Like, if I want a kind of, um, I don't know, peachy brownie nude, I think about this one. And it's a really nice, comfortable matte formula. I hear kind of like mixed reviews on these. It seems like some people really don't like them, but I really like them. Like I think that they um, are just a comfortable matte. Like they set down and they wear really well. Now, I do have one other color and it, it can kind of like show dryness on the lips, I think because more so to do with the color mixed with being a matte. Like I don't think that has a ton to do with like this specific lipstick formula, more to do with just any matte in a really light color is probably gonna show some dryness. So anyway, my other one does show a little bit of dryness. I don't remember what the color is, but this one I really don't notice that. Like, kind of look, I really don't notice it. So I like it. I think it's really pretty. They smell good. Ooh, they smell really good. Yeah, like creme brulee, vanilla, dessert, yumminess. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few of these lipsticks and I like them. They remind me, um, not exactly of the Maybelline creamy mattes. I would say those maybe feel a little bit more, have that kind of like silicone-y slip to them. These don't have quite as much of that sort of a feel, maybe a little bit more just a creamy feel. Um, but I love them both. I really like both lipstick formulas. So anyway, yeah, nudist favorite this week. And then lastly, back to that summer collection. I was just loving it this week. I was trying out the products and so impressed with them. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Aruba. So the trio, I don't remember if you can purchase them individually, but if I'll find it out and I will link it for you or whatever. Um, I think the trio comes with like Cocos Island Rio, I think it's called. And then this one I believe is the new one of the trio. This is Aruba and it's just a beautiful, like metallic-y nude peach shade. It's really pretty. I I really do like the metallic trend. Like I think it's pretty, um, but I don't know. Like I like some of the metallic stuff, but some of it I'm just like, it's, it's a little bit too much for me to feel comfortable in it. Like a super bronzy lip or something. I feel like this is an easy metallic to pull off because it's like a, like a nudie peach sort of a metallic. And it has just a little bit of a metallic sheen to it, but not like crazy, crazy over the top. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think this one is, 
if you're wanting to like get into that metallic lip trend but you're a little bit like unsure about it i think this is a good one to start with and i love the formula i've mentioned it a million times i love their formula they smell good oh my goodness like almond vanilla they wear well i think they're great so loving loving that summer collection did i already say this it releases July 2nd. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I wanted to let y'all know that I will not have a Friday favorites next week because I will be on vacation with Timothy. So I'm really excited about that. I will have a couple of videos up for y'all next week, but just not a Friday favorites. And I will be delayed on replying to comments because I'll be on vacation with him. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!